Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. It's a delight to be able to share with you on an Easter celebration of remembering uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the promise of our resurrection too when the time comes. Do not be afraid, 
I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. Jesus is not here, but has raised, as he said. Come see the place where Jesus lay, and even now is going ahead of you to Galilee. There will be, there you will see Jesus. This, and, uh, oops, sorry. This is my message to you. So they left the tomb quickly and with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up, took hold of Jesus' feet, and worshipped Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my sisters and brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Well, Easter is a very important day in Christian faith because it reminds us that Jesus won. Friday, we experience the grief that our sins meant Jesus had to die. But three days later, Jesus arose. Each of the Gospels has a slightly different story of it, and it's only in Matthew that we hear that the stone was rolled away by an earthquake. When the angel came, there was an earthquake, and it rolled the stone away. And the guards were terrified, and they fell as though they were dead. They were so terrified, which is really something, because they were soldiers. It took a lot to scare a Roman soldier, I'll tell you. But to the women, the angel said, don't be afraid. You're seeking Jesus, but he's not here. He rose just like he said he would. And so the angel says, go tell the other disciples and head for Galilee because Jesus will meet you there. And then as they turn and head back to the disciples, Jesus personally meets them. And they fall at his feet and they say, they, they worship him, and he says, go to Galilee. I'll meet you there. I find Matthew's account of this event very interesting. The Breaking of the tomb is so spectacular. The angel is so brilliant, not just white and shiny, but like lightning. And the guards who are there to make sure the tomb doesn't get opened lie on the ground in a stupor of terror. And then the angel gives a message, go to Galilee. And then the women turn to go to the disciples, and Jesus says, go to Galilee. Has God ever had to tell you twice to do the same thing? Well, probably not. You're probably really with it. But, but God has had to tell me a few times sometimes. I just find it amazing and wonderful how Matthew describes that. That the angel tells them, then Jesus tells them, and they've got to tell them. It's also important in my understanding that it was the women who went to the tomb early Sunday morning, that first Easter. It does tell us what the men were doing. The men were locked up in the upper room, scared to death of the police. Now, I don't want to pick on men. I'm kind of partial to men myself. <coughs> but it's interesting that the Gospels agree that it was the women who first 
saw the empty tomb. It was the women who were given the message to go tell the disciples. And in Matthew's version, everything falls into place. Now, there isn't much happens in Matthew after the resurrection. The only thing that happens is the ascension. All the other meetings aren't there that the other Gospels tell us because that wasn't important. What was important for Matthew's account was that the tomb was opened, the women were given a mission, they met Jesus on the way, and they all went to Galilee, and there in Galilee, Jesus ascended back to heaven. That's how Matthew wants us to remember the flow of those events. See, Matthew doesn't care very much about proving Jesus arose. He knows Jesus arose because the women saw it. Sometimes we just have to trust other people's experience. I find over the decades that I have been in ministry that so often too often, somebody will come and they'll say, God told me to do this. I had a revelation of God. I feel an urging of the Spirit to go here. And people will say, oh, I don't know. And they discourage people. Don't discourage people. And don't be discouraged if someone tries to discourage you. Because Jesus speaks to each one of us in their own way. Sometimes with an audible voice, sometimes with a dream, sometimes with a vision, sometimes with something out of scripture, sometimes from somebody else. God talks to each of us separately. Why? Because we are all made unique. We are all humans. We are all made equal. But we are made unique. <coughs> That's what Matthew, I think, is pointing out here. That it wasn't all the appearances of Jesus to the other disciples. It was that the women saw it. <coughs> and it's sometimes we need to trust other people's spiritual experience. <coughs> On Good Friday, the crosses were filled. Easter morning, the tomb was empty. We fail to be like Jesus. We thank you that because he died on the cross, we can be forgiven. Help us to make a new start, putting on love like a new suit of clothes, so that all may see that we belong to you. For Jesus' sake, amen. We remember our friends and neighbors. Make them whole. Restore the joy of their salvation. Redeem them. We remember the strangers and lift them up to you in love. We remember our needs and ask that your will be done. Let us die to sin and live to Christ. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God.
Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. You are the source of light and life for all your creation. You made us in your image and call us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Bread, and he broke it. And he gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. <coughs> In the same way, Jesus took the cup, and he passed it around and said, Drink from it, all of you, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you show forth the Lord's death until he comes. The gifts of God for the people of God. We give thanks, almighty God, that you have refreshed us at your table by granting us the presence of Jesus Christ. Strengthen our faith, increase our love for one another, and send us forth into the world, united in courage and peace, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen.
Pray the risen Lord, fill your heart with joy. Peace of Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you.